So yes, so welcome to the next season. It's for May 24 aspirants and uh, I'm here to just sensitize you because you have done the hard work and now when we talk today, the biggest thing is the results date has already been announced. So it's on 11th, seven days from now, I can understand the blood pressure levels of you all having and uh, the kind of uh, ups and downs and the kind of a wavy ride which you will going through because I have been through that and I did not clear it in first attempt. So you can just have that thing with me that if it will not I can be there. So you can watch me, look at me that our first time it will not So he has survived so we will also survive. I would say that way. The agenda for today is number one, the possibilities. So without taking much of your time now, the possibilities which are available. Number one, CA firms versus industry and it will lead to some domain specific guidance. And then in the world of possibility for CAs. Let me be very clear rather than just simply saying 140 crore logo mein matra 4 there is a lot of possibility but the reality is out of those 4 lakh chartered accountants to only cater to high net worth individuals bigger companies so all the 140 crore people do not need chartered accountants bare fact number one number two when you go into the market try to become employable there is a big amount of expectation versus reality gap so the expectation is skyrocketing from you and the reality is sir hum kaise padhe hum jante hain so if you are agree to me that then you can use those emojis and other things to make it interactive and let me know yes that i am making some sense or not so it will help me to understand ha samajh mein aa raha hai aap logo ko jo main kehna cha raha hu so that keeps me going first thing sir when you talk about being a chartered accountant the role is also going to shift a lot as it is it is not going to be the same audit and taxation which you have been seeing in your uh, offices and with the advent of AI you are the generation which is going to face the music of artificial intelligence also. So right from drafting your CV right from conducting an interview of your own self by giving good prompts you can do a lot of lot more things from AI. Yesterday we had a session on uh, Ernst & Young consulting division and they said that AI has to be a part of life for everyone it will enable you it will empower you. So that is something which you need to understand and develop at your own thought process, which I will help you. So I will take you to a basic ride that what all the chartered accountancy profession offers. So you can pull out your traditional way of notes and notepad so that you can just jot down something. And everything is in your PDFs. Everything is in your screenshots. I know you want everything to be recorded. Yes, I am recording it, but that's not going to help. Because had that been the case, YouTube have, YouTube have made you a merit scorer already because every content is available on YouTube. It's for us to implement it and then adopt it in our day to day discussion and lives. Okay. 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 So, here you go. So I did some few jot downs for you. So all my would be CAs of May 24, I have made certain things and I will take you through this. And agar iske baad, if we have some time left within an hour or so, so then we will go to some CV specific things also. But the domain guidance will take some time. So please make sure you lend your ears as well as your attention to it. Number one, sir, chartered accountancy firm, CA firms versus industry. These are the two options where you go. First of all, if you want to practice on your own, this is one particular question which comes, what happens if I want to practice on my own? But if you want to practice on your own, if you are in a smaller town, most of the times I get this question, sir, I'll go out, get some experience for two, two and a half years in a bigger company and then come back and start my own practice. Problem kya hota hai? The moment you go there, you learn the basics, the fundamentals, the way things are done in bigger cities. And when you after two years come back, nobody in your city is worried about that. So problem kya hoga? You will learn very good things across and then when you come back, you will be a two year old chartered accountant starting away from scratch. So if you really want to start in your city, do your own practice, it's better to join a local firm, understand the client base, understand the expectations, understand the way things are working in your city. That will help you more to develop your own practice rather than going to a big four working in a specific division and then coming out and saying because what will happen is if you get into audit then you only do audit there and when you come to smaller cities you are supposed to do a lot of services to them. You have to file the income tax return, GST return, internal audit, corporate governance things, compliance of ROC and all other things also. 
so that bouquet of services which you have to give in a smaller city does not matches with the requirement of the bigger city so first thing first agar shehar mein practice karna if you want to practice in your own city then be with one of the best chartered accountants of your city and when you start your own practice you need to give yourself around 3 years so what will happen is when you see people putting up posts that i am starting this and i have got my welcome kit and other things and then you come to say that everybody is making money i am not making money then you need to be very particular about yourself first two two and a half years to three years you will not earn that much but yes then the trajectory will go up let me tell you if you put your heart and soul for those two two and a half to three years so let me be very clear and make yourself clear on the point you have to want to stay in your city a please do it from right now rather than going out coming back and then getting frustrated that this city doesn't matches up to the requirements and expectation am i clear give me a thumbs up personal practice versus job so please give me a thumbs up so i come to know okay kartik has given others need to give that emoji so i come to know yes so 28 29 30 yes somebody has given a heart also fine thank you very much okay then now if you want to go into mid size firms and then you go to big fours okay so the next difficult question is sir my article ship exposure has not been very good i have not been able to do many things in my article ship days so what should i do how should i become better and available for uh, big six or big fours when you go there they work on those kind of software systems and processes which usually are not available to smaller companies and smaller firms so what they expect from you that you don't know and you don't know their software you don't know the way but what you need to know is that are you able to adapt to the situation are you ready to change yourself to the situation so are you able to articulate your thoughts and practice uh, concepts so if somebody ask you can you say something about csr now if you go and say uh, csr is section 135 of companies act 2013 it requires 2% of the expenditure to be done of the net profit based on the computation of last 3 years now this is not the answer somebody is expecting from you let me tell you this is theoretical answer what somebody is expecting you is corporate social responsibility expenditure requires a specific reporting now now that reporting needs to be done in this way had the expenditure been provided for has been spent or not we need to put up a nxr in our reporting schedule also then he'll come to the question okay how do will you check that so then you'll say and go and say i have to check my provisions and after provisions how much expenditure has been done how much it has got accumulated over the years all those things combined together will help you okay so that is something which you need to understand a b now let's come to the bifurcation so i think you are more interested in how these big fours are divided kya kya kaam karte kaun se division mein kya kya kaam hota hai am i correct or not how will your specific day be there give me a yes no so i'll accordingly mold my session for that okay so how does this works let me tell you so now what will happen is once you go into ca firm acha industry i'll talk later let me get into the ca firm so big 4 and big 6 when you get in there are primarily two divisions assurance that is called famously called statutory audit and then there is called ha huh. yes priyanshu i am handling that only assurance that is stat audit advisory okay so under advisory there are multiple things so if you take it down you will get multiple things tax it risk advisory fdd is esg all these things so if i take you to the assurance stat audit this is the real job for which a chartered accountant is made okay ca banta hi isliye hai so the real job for which chartered accountant is made under that you will audit three types of companies number one is a private limited company which is going to be an annual affair okay in a private limited company you don't need to audit it on a daily basis regular basis so it's an annual affair it will be called a small client in a bigger company ठीक है सो अंडर दैट ऑल द रिपोर्टिंग स्विच यू हैव टू डू कारो रिपोर्टिंग विल इंडिया सप्लाई ऑन दिस टेल मी ऑन प्राइवेट कंपनीज आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क बिकॉज दीज आर द क्वेश्चन विच यू बी गेटिंग पॉप्ड अप इन एग्जाम इन यूर इंडिया विल अप्लाय मतलब इज इट अ कंपलशन और इट इज एन ऑप्शन ओके okay so prahlad come back it's based on the limit okay based on revenue criteria 
yes correct good so that you have to tell to the person so if that applies then you have to understand how india's works what are the differences between various indias and other things okay when you go to listed companies now here is what big four's work up mainly upon listed companies have multiple types of works to be done listed companies require lodr obligations listing and listing obligation and disclosure requirements now under that sebi lodr requirements they are supposed to do a quarterly review so now a quarterly review is needed half yearly review is needed an annual review is done an annual audit is done and a consolidation is done so this is where you will work actually in listed companies so i'm talking about assurance okay yes mr mayank you will not be able to watch the chat and messages of others in the meeting it has been enabled that way to maintain the discipline and decorum okay thank you why are you interested in other person stuff i really don't know when we are talking on this but still kids being kids yeah okay so now quarterly reviews under quarterly reviews we don't do audit but we do a analysis we do all the ratios and we do a disclosures okay so those reports are made half yearly annual and consolidation ab iske andar kya hota hai it is not a manual audit now this manual audit is not there this is done through softwares now there is a software called audit planning module apm okay so now here you plan the overall audit understand there you put the requirements of the entity the risk factors of the entity the materiality level you define of the entity then you decide that out of the overall trial balance how much i will include how much i will not include immaterial items the cut off limits will be set and the documentation would be done this is the most important aspect which big four will make you learn you won't be able to learn in other firms now few of the small mid size firms or large firms or smaller cities have started doing that but this is what but ek baat yaad rakhna understand one thing anything in these audit softwares doesn't go out of your audit syllabus everything is there in your audit syllabus itself but what happens is you are not able to understand how to put this in software this is what the big four will train you so as an interview student when you get a candidate as a candidate when you enter into that you realize they are not expecting you to run these softwares but they are expecting you they are expecting you to understand that are you able to understand audit functions aise padha hai ki nahi padha hai materiality samajh mein aata hai ki nahi aata hai hello yes or no correct na so you need to be theoretically sound and you should be able to articulate it now this word articulate was used by the partner also yesterday now let me tell you how do you say articulate so if somebody says ki okay what do you have done so i have done a fixed asset audit so you say okay what you have done in fixed asset so under fixed assets audit i have to check the existence of the fixed asset the rights and obligations related to that fixed asset the location and the related matters okay so now if he says do so how do you check a fixed asset register bole the fixed asset register is not a books of accounts but anything which is maintained along with your books of accounts which incorporates the location the date the details so all these assertions what we say in simple basic audit methodology that needs to be explained so i will check the existence of the asset by physical verification if physical verification has been carried out by someone then you should ask for those working papers the moment you ask those working papers using the work of other auditor gets in to usko hai na you have to take him through the right path usko ye samajh mein aana chahiye interviewer ko ki yes i know the work how it is done what my point so rather than simply what what kids do i'll tell you fix assets Uh, accounting standard uh, 10 the new one pp 16 10 under pp there is property plant equipment all that kind of stuff you do up then you expect somebody to give you a job of 12 lakh rupees i'm sorry it won't happen so you have to understand padega you have to understand this i hope a smaller use of a one or two line use of hindi is fine with many of the candidates from across the country it's okay na yeah 
because that is it. <laughs> comes into the flow. Yeah. And some at some point of time, if you are not able to comprehend anything in Hindi, it's fine. Let me know. I just forgot to ask you from all how many cities you all are there. If you can just put your city so I can know the demography of my batch whom I am training in Delhi, Bangalore, Surat, Jammu, Mysore, Indore, Mathura, Delhi, Jaipur, Mumbai, Rewadi, Haryana, Delhi, Bandnagar, Mumbai, Mangalore, Ludhiana, Gurgaon, Saharanpur, Raplam, Sonipat, Karnataka, Mangalore, Mumbai, Mumbai, Ahmedabad, Anantpur, Delhi, Indore, Jhansi, Shilong. What is this? Kolkata, Amritsar, Andhra, the whole India is with me today. Wow. So happy to see all of you. <coughs> Hyderabad, Jhansi, Junagar, Gujarat. Wow, bhai. Yes, I know people are not able to join, but I don't know what is going on at the technical end. My team is trying to figure it out. I'm not sure. <coughs> no worries. We are getting it recorded. Don't worry. So the recording is on. So be assured. Okay. Recording in progress. Makes life easy? Yes. <coughs> okay, Sambalpur, Rudisa also. Fine. So now, did you get this idea of about uh, audit softwares? Do, do they expect you to run audit softwares? No. But they want you to understand how things are working. Let's take another example of revenue. How will you check the revenue? So you'll say, I'll check the bills, I'll check the entry. So that is not the purpose. Barabar. So you will not check the bills, you will not check the entry, you will say understand how revenue is being recognized, on what basis, what are the criteria of so the revenue recognition principles, those things are expected and the moment you say in your article say that I have done this client, that client, the question will go to that particular thing, okay tell me about this, how did you check revenue in this, how did you check assets in this, so you have to choose your questions, you have to choose your area of playing very carefully in the, in the interview, it is a very famously said what you can speak on is something what you should be writing in your CV. It should not so happen that you have written loads of things courtesy chat GPT and then you are not able to explain. Diksa, I already mentioned it is getting regarded. Don't worry. There is a limitation on number of participants. It's fine. Okay. <coughs> Tell them. Okay, what did I say? I said whatever you are able to explain to your interviewer, that is the only stuff we should get into your CV. Sanket APM stands for Audit Planning Memorandum, APM. This is Audit Documentation essay. So you need to know about the entity, what business does it do, what are the key managerial person, what are the risk factors, what are the business risks and then accordingly you decide the materiality level and then you decide the minimum cutoff levels. You would have studied in audit one particular phrase. Anything which is immaterial individually, if collectively, collectively taken may become material. So then you have to check that particular thing also. So accordingly, small, small things need to be very clear. Correct. Now what happens in this? And then you have MNCs. Now the moment you go to MNCs, agar if you are under audit of an MNC, MNC will have two more new things which will come up into this. So what are they? MNC will have something called consolidation. What is it called? Consolidation. Because what will happen is the accounting year of MNC may not be equal to accounting year of Indian subsidiary. You got my point? So they might be April, January to December and they might be April to March, the Indian subsidiary. So what will happen is when you want to consolidate that for the global reporting purposes, what will happen three months of the previous accounting year and nine months of this accounting year will get combined and create a January to December set of books of accounts. I hope you understood this. Hello. Got it? <clears throat> so that is need to be done. There are certain softwares nowadays who do this. One of them very famous one is Hyperion. Heard about it? It's an accounting consolidation software. Hyperion. Now, 
डोंट ब्लैबर दीज वर्ड इन फ्रंट ऑफ द इंटरव्यूअर अदरवाइज ही स्टार्ट आस्किंग अच्छा कैसे होता है बताओ बट दिस इज फॉर समथिंग फॉर यू टू गो इन गो बैक टूडे एंड चैट जीपीटी से पूछने का वर्ड वट हाइपीरियन डस ओके सो डोंट यू आर सपोज टू बी बोलिंग इन द स्लॉग वर्स डोंट गिव फुल टॉस बॉल्स टू एम एस धोनी और शिवम दुबे प्लेइंग ऑन दैट साइड दे विल टेक यू आउट ऑफ द पार्क ओके सो यू आर नीड टू बी अ बुमरा बोलिंग द लास्ट ओवर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड कप फाइनल सेकेंड लास्ट ओवर जस्ट टू लिमिट दैट ओके तो वन मोर क्वेश्चन अबाउट स्टार्ट ऑडिट विच कम्स इन लेट मी आस्क लेट मी टेल यू सर स्टैट्यूटरी ऑडिट करके मैं बाद में अपना बिजनेस कर सकता हूं क्या आंसर इज नो बिकॉज स्टैट्यूटरी ऑडिट इज रूल बेस्ड स्टैट्यूटरी ऑडिट इज रेगुलेशन बेस्ड वॉट एवर द लॉ वॉन्ट्स यू हैव डन दैट You are not understanding the business. You are not understanding the reasons of the business. You are not doing anything specific. You are not doing anything specific to understand the overall business or the risk related to it. So, if you feel that I will do statutory audit and then start my own business, my startup will start. Sorry, the answer is no. Okay, because a lot of things are immaterial. When you go to a big level for audit. so sometimes amounts limit up to 10 lakh 20 lakhs becomes immaterial in a balance sheet of hundreds of crores now being a sole proprietor or a being a business owner aap 5000 nahi chhodoge wo 20 lakh rupaye ka immaterial item chhod ke aage badh gaya so please we make sure matlab these are those thoughts which keep coming to me over whatsapp and kids asking can i do this can i do that so i'm incorporating many of those things right now okay Anything specific to statutory audit which you want to ask? Because I will be going on to the advisory mode now. So put on chat, please. No messages yet. So. Aha, few more questions. Can I move from stat audit to FDD? Answer is either yes. You need to develop a good amount of experience of listed clients, then the FDD people or the strategy audit people and transformation people look up to you. Yes. Ha, Sanket Jain, what's better for personal growth, stat or then internal? Boss, it's a personal call. If you want to be into the practice profession, if you want to be an auditor forever, stat audit will always be there. But if you want to get into business, or sooner or later you want to switch to industry after three four years, then internal audit gives you an overall view of how the business is working, what are the problems and operational issues with the business. Okay, Prelat says I am planning for credit analysis in banking sector. Congratulations, all the best. So do we mention the name of clients we have audited during our article ship journey? Anshika, yes, you can, and it never violates the principle of confidentiality. Don't worry, you are not mentioning them the details of exact work done. But unless you tell them that I have done FMCG worth 500 crores, they will not able to come to know. For example, I worked for Hindustan Unilever in my audit days. Okay, so I used to proudly write in my CV. Working in the foods and beverages division of Hindustan Unilever Limited. So what's wrong in that? I did not say whom did I speak to, what fraud did I found, or what issues were there. Their integrity test will be taken the moment they see. Okay, you have worked for a 500 crore company or a 5000 crore company. Yes. How did you work? You will tell I worked like this. Okay. So now then they will test. Can you tell me the details of what person was involved and what was the amount of fraud or what was the amount of issues? Then you can say, sir, that is not ethical and the code of conduct and the ethics do not allow us. I can tell you what work I have done, but I am not able to divulge the financial details. Simple. 
अदरवाइज इतना अच्छा क्लाइंट के लिए काम किया दिखेगा कैसे ये तो बताओ उसको याद थोड़ी ना आएगा सपना थोड़ी ना देखेगा सो पॉइंट वन ये आगे सीवी में पॉइंट्स आने वाले पर आपने पूछ लिया अभी ओके अर्नब सेज वॉट डू यू रिप्लाई वेन दे से वाई स्टार्ट ऑडिट ओके सो I have always, if the answer needs to be given, so you can say that I have always enjoyed being a part of this compliance team and the kind of adulation and the respect what auditors get, and I carry the sense of pride that yes, whatever numbers we verify, this is the basic numbers on which banks, other institutions agree, and the shareholders also rely on that. So I take a sense of pride in that, and I really enjoy understanding these amendments and the way things are being presented, and I really. Like being a part of the number crunching team, simple. बोला वही है लेकिन proper English में बोला है बस What can be the exit opportunity if someone opts out from Start Audit domain? I told you जाए Start Audit के बाद you can simply any day go to FDD and industry will always welcome you here because what will happen is in big fours when you work really hard ना तो उनको मेहनत करने का इतना आदत पड़ जाता है then you don't have an issue they they know that this guy knows how to slog for 11 hours 10 hours on the deadlines so they want to most of the people when they do think that do teen saal ho gaya big four mein i want to move to a peaceful place they go to these places hmm harshita i will come to all those fields one by one i am on start audit right now Okay, more of the interview requirement questions are coming. Okay, how will the okay how will be the workload in stat audit field? Ha, stat audit field you will have busy days every quarter. So don't plan to get married in the quarter end because your boss will not allow you. Don't plan your dates. Don't plan your uh, family outings or marriages in the quarter end. बोले मेरे को उन छुट्टी नहीं मिलेगा. So quarter end is like twenty fifth से लेके seventh तक you will not get. Okay. Because quarter and quarterly reviews, understand na yar. If I am auditing, let's say Titan, and if I am a part of the Titan team, let me tell you how. Unless Titan gives the numbers, Tata Group cannot consolidate, and Tata Group cannot consolidate, so the reports will not come out. So everybody has to work hard on those five seven days. So it will be a quarterly thing, and then annual also it will be happen. So yes, the busy days will be that way. Hmm. ओके प्रथम सलोनी स्मॉल कंपनी से काम किया है विल दे सिलेक्ट अस माय क्वेश्चन योर क्वेश्चन वाज ऑलरेडी आंसर्ड डोंट एक्सपेक्ट देम टू अंडरस्टैंड यू अंडरस्टैंड द सॉफ्टवेयर्स प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड यू नीड टू एक्सप्लेन व्हाट वर्क यू हैव डन प्रॉपर्ली वो आप में ये सीखने की काबिलियत देखेंगे यहां जितने लोग इस सेशन में बैठे हैं मैक्सिमम लोग बिग फोर में काम नहीं किया है But they know how to put things across, na? I am going to explain to you. That is what I am trying to tell you and make you understand. It's not compulsory that you need to have a large client exposure. I did not have. I worked in a small sole proprietor firm of Indore, and I completed my CA there itself. And then I moved out and got a job there. After five attempts of CA final, let me tell you. So I am a multiple pass out candidate standing in front of you, speaking must English right now, influencing all of you. So I've done something, na? I should feel not bad about it. Stop feeling bad about it first of all. This is the biggest thing which every chartered accountancy person needs to understand: the amount of hard work which you have done. Nobody does, yeah. It's just a matter of time. Okay. Mr. Mohammad Imran, if you don't have experience in audit profile, but you have written the audit paper, you have understood the indices, you have understood standards on auditing. If you can understand them and then write the answers and solve those business cases, you can. Okay, so now the questions are more about. Uh, मैं क्या करूं मेरे लिए क्या बेस्ट है टाइप सो इट्स मोर नॉट मोर अबाउट स्टार्ट ऑडिट सो ओके संचिता इज गॉट अ क्वेश्चन सर हाउ टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन आर यू रेडी टू वर्क फॉर लॉन्ग आवर्स संचिता को बोलना चाहिए यस गिवन द बिजी डेज एंड गिवन द डेड लाइन्स आई होप द कंपनी विल बी टेकिंग केयर ऑफ एम्प्लॉइज प्रॉपरली ऑल्सो इफ वी हैव बिजी डेज आई एम रेडी टू स्लॉक बट वेन द बिजी डेज आर ओवर देन वी शुड बी गिवन सम रिलैक्सेशन ऑल्सो सिंपल 
हाँ ना हो अनादर ये सब है ना क्वालिटेटिव डिस्कशन है जो ये वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस वगैरह वाले वो मैं बाद में बात करता हूँ बिकॉज दीज आर द जेनेरिक क्वेश्चन वी आर ऑन टू सम टेक्निकल डिस्कशन लेट कम्प्लीट अश्योरेंस इज कम्प्लीट फ्रॉम माई साइड नो मोर क्वेश्चन ऑन अश्योरेंस गिव मी अ थम्स अप क्वेश्चन एनीथिंग फॉर अश्योरेंस तो नहीं है ना हाँ सो देन लेट मी गो फॉर दर यस एडवाइजरी सर द मोमेंट यू गेट इन टू एडवाइजरी दीज आर द फील्ड विच आर अवेलेबल नंबर वन देर इज सम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट now tax has got direct tax department under the direct tax you have got corporate international taxation you have got people advisory services you have got transfer pricing department then you have got indirect tax under that indirect tax you have got gst department and customs department litigation and compliance under gst correct and then transfer pricing then mergers and acquisition tax mna tax so these are the four things under tax only let me take you one by one let me take you through one by one under direct tax corporate taxation first one company ka income tax return company ka assessment jiske andar mat ke provisions hote hain jiske andar agar aapki tax holiday wali units hoti hain ata ib ke deductions hote hain डेप्रिसिएशन एड बैक होता है इनकम कंपनीज एक्ट वाला और लेस होता है इनकम टैक्स वाला ये सब पता होना चाहिए मोस्ट ऑफ द कैंडिडेट्स राइट इन द मीटिंग आई टेल यू व्हाट दे आर डूइंग सर ओके ओके अपन ना आई आई गो बैक टू इंग्लिश थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर दैट ओके ओके आई आई रिपीट द होल थिंग इन इंग्लिश थैंक्स फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग ओके under corporate taxation when you try to do a corporate tax return this is for a company maybe a limited company or a public limited or a listed one what will happen is when you get into this details they don't expect from you how do you file a sole proprietor return they don't expect to you how do you file a partnership return because that is not their clientele their clientele is companies so now a company may have multiple units some units may be located in tax holiday zone some units may be having some certain benefits or subsidies coming in the sheer main purpose of minimum alternate tax calculation adding back the depreciation of companies act and reducing the depreciation of uh, the income tax act are the main key things now you need to understand how the information is flowing how you are developing that computation and then things are coming in so you need to be thorough with all those provisions mat provisions the direct tax the deferred tax asset and deferred tax liabilities dta dtl so now these are the things which will get incorporated in corporate tax returns am i correct or not companies assessment so what you need to do if you are going for a tax interview no point reading the those things the basic residential status uh, disallowance also is a big part what are disallowed what are allowed so what we need to be very clear ki the computation statement of a company so open up your cf final books find out that computation statement of a company and try to go through it what is included what is not included that will help i can tell you one more new thing what you can do to you can try i don't know put some relevant context into chat gpt companies taxation put pull out a pdf put it to chat gpt and ask chat gpt to ask technical questions based on this particular content has anybody tried this has anybody tried this give me a yes or no okay samrati says no 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 pooja has said yes aparna has done yes ushal agarwal yes so do you want to share that experience with others ushal should i allow you to unmute Are you okay speaking? Yes. Just let me allow. Let me allow you to unmute and let us hear them out. What exactly they have been through? Just a minute, participants. I have allowed participants to unmute. Yeah. Uh, good evening, sir. Yes, Kushal. Have you done yes. this? Yes, sir. Actually, I had an interview for M&A Tax, so I used this technique for that uh, interview purpose. I had some PDFs and I uploaded those PDFs and I asked the AI to ask me some questions regarding this. 
Mm. I got lots of uh, new questions based on them. I know so. Okay. So did it help? Yes, sir. It helps, sir. I got to learn new things like typing guidelines, which I didn't know before uh, going through this. So it helps a lot. Okay. So what did you upload to Chat GPT? The I had some articles uh, of different uh, firms. Uh, I had some PWCs and Nishit Desai articles and PDFs. So I uploaded that it contained majority of the information which may be asking for that interview. Okay. So I uploaded that and it summarized it for me. For... Okay. So it helped. Yes, sir. Great. Aparna, can you also speak something on this? Aparna Mohan? Aparna has unmuted herself. Aparna, if you can speak something. Aparna, your voice is very low. You need to be a bit louder. Yes, Aparna, your voice is very low. Or is Aparna audible to others rather than me? Voice is low. Hmm. Okay, no problems, Aparna. Anybody else? I think Komal Sharma also tried this, if I am not wrong. Okay, not yet. Okay, no problems. But you got this idea. How about putting certain sections and subsections, PDF, there and making that chat GPT work for you? Because I'll tell you what, this is for CIT because company related income tax matters are really minute, really small, really granular. So you'll get a lot of things to understand from that. So that is one. Achha, how many of you are very good at individual taxation? Give me a hand raise. Fata fat. Jaldi se. Yeah, give me a thumbs up. I am good at individual taxation. Hmm. So all those people who are good at individual taxation, second one. People Advisory Services is something which you can look up to. Now what is People Advisory Services, sir? People Advisory Services is a service given for high net worth individuals who are working in various multinational companies in various countries also. So what will happen is under People Advisory Services, those high net worth individuals traveling in different different countries, working in multinational companies, they need to file their income tax returns. So their income tax returns will require residential status issues, DT double A double taxation avoidance TT points and ensure that a proper return is getting filed of all those people across the world. So what happens is big fours have developed this department where all the multinational company employees come and get the services done from them. So they hire very nicely. But let me tell you people advisory services is specifically to HNI high net worth individuals. You will try to make income tax returns of those high net worth individuals. You will not do litigation. You will not do income tax scrutiny and assessments there so if you want to do that people advisory services is one another favorite and very big recruiting department is transfer pricing tp under transfer pricing you need section 92 of income tax act now what happens is section 92 of income tax act is something 92 a b c 92 b c d e f we know that for the purpose of academic understanding but how TP reports are made, what issues come out in TP because what happens is it is mainly required when multinational organizations are doing transactions between their associates and subsidiary companies. So there you need to develop a arm's length price. You need to value your services and value your things. So accordingly, you need to study that much in detail. And let me tell you a hack. Subse zada requirement, most of the requirements are in TP department and our syllabus doesn't enable us to understand that TP very properly. So if you do a detailed study in TP, invest some good hours and show some basic understandings. Because what will happen is under TP department, what will happen? You will continuously interact with HNI, oh, sorry, MNCs. Now under MNCs, your communication skills need to be very good. You need to be good in English at drafting and speaking also because you will be always on calls with other country companies, subsidiaries. So what will happen is you have need to respond on emails. You need to draft things properly to have basic English speaking, the writing 
and the drafting skills will get tested don't get worried about that exact minute provision is available to me or not kisi ko bhi yaad nahi hota nobody remembers that you always have a book to hit but they should get that spark in you ki theek hai isko basic he knows basics so he will improvise at the entry level they know they want that much only okay jay sahab pas and gms is exactly the same these are two different names one big four says pas the other one says gms people advisory services global mobility solutions it's the same thing so transfer pricing did you get ha exit opportunities in transfer pricing are becoming difficult why because once you are into transfer pricing department what happens is you will be capable and usable for another company which is into a multinational setup and is requiring transfer pricing capabilities otherwise transfer pricing departments ka employability gets into the same company or a similar big four or into a multinational company so those ka exit opportunity us taraf se hai okay now come to idt now under idt when you have gst compliance you know 10th and 20th of every month is most important aspect so what happens is when you are into idt department under gst the litigation thing is something where you need to be very minutely capable of putting the proper responses drafting them so people hire gst compliance also and litigation also so this is one question which you should ask from the hr that i am take giving that interview for idt but this is more what this is compliance or litigation now tell let me give you the difference when you are into compliance so what has happened is gst compliance has been taken up by all the big fours on behalf of large companies ki your gst return filing we will do like we do in smaller companies also that gst compliance so now bigger companies data doesn't comes in a pen drive you have to go into their system access the data download the reports understand everything match cross match and do all that stuff so what will happen is that is compliance so you will not be given a chutti from 17 to 25th because 20th is the date of filing the returns that's a monthly affair with bigger companies and under compliance people who have got multiple attempts people who are not so very good at english can also be accommodated in gst mark my word what did i say कंप्लाइंस में दे डोंट नीड द पॉलिस्ड पीपल बिकॉज इट समवर्ड ऑफ अ बैक ऑन बैक एंड गोड ओके सो यू कैन बी अकोमोडेटेड एंड इफ यू मेंटेन योर सेल्फ देर स्पेंड सम टाइम देन यू कैन गेट ग्रेजुएट इन टू द अदर डिपार्टमेंट विद इन आईडीटी इट सेल्फ लिटिगेशन यू नीड टू बी वेरी सॉलिड अबाउट द प्रोविजन वेरी सॉलिड अबाउट द ड्राफ्टिंग एंड वेरी क्लियर अबाउट वॉट इज देयर एंड वॉट इज नॉट देयर फॉर एग्जाम्पल सेक्शन सेवेंटीन ऑफ वैल्युएशन शुड बी वेरी क्लियर टू यू आइडियाज लाइक फ्री सैम्पलिंग डिस्काउंट्स how it has been accounted for all those specific issues of gst should be comfortable at okay tpi already covered manoj has a question manoj says so do you want to say sir that will it be fine if one doesn't have an article ship experience in tpi manoj let me tell you out of 100 98 people don't have an experience in tpi because tp is not available in smaller companies tp is restricted to bigger companies because they are multinationals okay okay ayush comes with me a question sir when filing date is over on 20th then why we have to stay busy till 25th of the month i wish i don't know this is what one of the hr told me once you file the return then you need to do the documentation also dear certain mismatches also happen those mismatches will be taken care of in the next month so but has to be taken care of na abhi shaadi ho gayi to next day saman hatane ke liye bhi to koi chahiye na mere bhai event managers come on the next day marriage also na <laughs> yes or no correct hmm. no no mahek many job opportunities require prior experience in tpn direct taxation those would be for experienced people beta let me tell you and if somebody says that you need to have an experience tell them where is the experience available in smaller countries and smaller smaller companies and smaller firms you ask me the provisions i am ready to clear this off i'll tell you what the way you did the chat gpt thing for direct tax na you can do it for tp also i'll uh, note down oecd guidelines 
Organization for Economic and Cooperation Development OECD guidelines are there on transfer pricing. And there is something called a transfer pricing report, TP report. Usually it's a confidential document, but ask chat GPT if chat GPT can give you TP report or the contents of a transfer pricing report. And then you have one transfer pricing compliance of income tax. Also one form is required. A report is 3 C E A B or something like that. Let me just check. there are few slots available now people at the end of the day learned that it's going to go technical so some people have moved out so if you want i am just huh, it is 3 c e b correct okay hmm So that's one okay then you come to m a tax this is another exciting area most of you want to i want to achha, because anybody when they pass chartered accountants in the first answer is i want to get into investment banking i want to do mergers and acquisition i want to do financial due diligence these are three words so the aura goes away after 15 20 days so now what does the mergers and acquisition tax does m a taxation kya naam hai? Mergers and acquisition taxation. Please understand and decode the name. So there are two companies. Let's say I am one and another is yours. Let's say you know there was something called Uber Eats at one point of time. Okay, let's take a latest example. Blinkit. Now Blinkit is under whom? Now Blinkit is under Zomato. So Zomato has acquired Blinkit. I hope you are aware. Anshika, it's not Tata, it's Zomato. Huh. So Blinkit is acquired by Zomato. So now what happens is Zomato when went to Blinkit. So what Blinkit has to offer is understand it's a digital business. Blinkit is nothing but a software working or a application working where you are able to unite the buyers and the sellers together. So tangible is something tangible is not there. Okay. So now what happens is when you go and say Blinkit I want to acquire. So Blinkit has to sell. Now there has to be a purchase consideration into it. Now please understand. There are two departments connected into it. There is something called deal advisory. Okay. So the deal advisory department goes and does a due diligence. Ki, is this company capable of being acquired or not? Okay. So they will do everything in terms of they'll understand their assets, their liabilities, their contingent liabilities and everything and they'll come to a particular price. Now, when they come to a particular price, then they ask the team of taxation to go and see that are there any tax issues into it. So the bigger team is which? Deal advisory or the m &A tax team? Now you tell me. Who is the bigger team? Deal advisory. Very good. So under deal advisory, there is one team called m &A tax. So what m &A tax will do, they will advise on the old deal or only on the taxation aspect. <coughs> Sona, you are wrong. Shubham Bansal, you are wrong. Kushal, you are right. Only on the taxation aspect. Please understand. I brought you to understand the overall deal. So here you have marketing people finance people hr people and multiple people okay now under that you have one income tax person and specialist team so that the, all the taxation and impact should be there okay so the bigger team is deal advisory they will do a due diligence of the overall business and under that the tax department will come and take care of the taxation aspect so mna tax is that so you can be on both the sides huh? 
how come you can be on the buying company side or on the selling company side to see the taxation matters i hope i am clear now so this is what m and a tax does so sir m and a tax will be a regular work every day you will be having a new assignment number 1 every time you will be having a new company will there be deadlines yes will there be pressure to perform yes but the thrill of doing all this is a different level so you have to take a call that you want to be onto the thrill or onto a simpler way that's your choice abhi samjha it's clear okay so now let's go back again so we go to the now taxation is complete we go to it and risk advisory so now it and risk advisory risk advisory a bigger word okay so now it and risk advisory speaks sir do you really think tally will work in larger organizations <laughs> no sir tally doesn't work in organizations now you are doing every transaction with upi okay and now pata tally ma okay i muted them all so that it becomes easy for me sir all the bigger organizations will work on sap oracle or any of the other erp now the problem would happens is all these places is the data is scattered so before starting an audit the auditor needs to get a comfort that the information which is being captured by all these softwares is accurate and complete the older day words validity accuracy completeness of the information on which i am going to make a report if you ask me as a start auditor to give a report so i need to get that comfort na i'll give you the complication involved for example if i am into hul okay so hul has factories they have dealers they have depots they have ads they have vendors they have employees they have exports they have imports yes or no now do you really think everything is getting done in tally no everything is scattered across now what happens is when you try to capture this information together you need to see that the information flow is coming properly in the trial balance or not if these softwares are not working properly let's say a payroll software is not working properly so then is your salary expense correct or not no sir if your dealers sales details are not flowing in properly then how can you come to the sales figure If your factory data and factory's data is not coming properly, how can you get an assurance that all the plant machinery and all the expenditures are being captured or not? And the moment this gets compromised, so your information is questionable. Then how will you decide if this information is correct or not? Got my idea? Hello. So factories, dealers, depots, so all these things. Now what IT and risk advisory does? IT and risk advisory does what consulting was telling us yesterday in the EY session. I hope some of you attended the session. I think Karthik, you attended that session yesterday. So what happened, Sanjita? Were you there in the session yesterday also? Yes. So what he said that there was a situation that they were trying to eliminate the payments below two lakh rupees or below two crore rupees. You remember? He gave an example that the payments were being split, and then we realized that the payment were being split, but not to violate anything. but to ensure that the signature of the person who is required at an above amount continuously keeps traveling so checking those accuracy that the softwares are working properly or not information is getting checked or not that is the job of it and risk advisory now let me tell you this it and risk advisory team goes first checks the overall system and then comes and gives an assurance to the stat audit team yes sir good to go you can audit now So, what is the job of IT and risk advisory? Is there what is the job to check the amounts or check the systems? You tell me. Type it off in your chat box. Sir, systems. Yes, to check the systems and give an assurance that yes, the information is flowing properly. Correct. Hello. Okay. Some. basic terminologies which you should be aware of if not aware of take a note of it order to cash p2p 
प्रोक्योर टू पे हायर टू रिटायर रिकॉर्ड टू रिपोर्ट दिस इज नथिंग बट द सोफिस्टिकेटेड न्यू नेम्स ऑफ सेल्स परचेज सैलरी एंड अकाउंटिंग If you keep a closer look, it's just the decorated name of sales, purchase, and other things. Now, what happens is if you understand the overall sales cycle, order कैसे मिला? How did you get the order? <clears throat> How did you record it? How did you process it? When did you prepare the invoice? When did you realize the invoice? So this is sales, na? Or receiving the order, dispatching the goods. preparing the bill collecting the payment at the end of the day these are the four steps na anything else beyond this no but when it gets scattered now understand you get an order from an online portal an amazon flipkart or you get an online order from your website itself sometimes can certain people come and walk to into your showroom also so are you able to understand the kind of complications is new economy is going to bring for all of us so we need to get that comfort that things are getting recorded properly similarly purchase procure to pay hire to retire record to report accounting so all these things so please listen uh, read this what i have written any deficiency is visible in process or technology and the risk associated is <coughs> risk advisory i hope i have made you understand what risk advisory does sir what kind of a person should do risk advisory though that is one more question which you may come up with see if you really like playing with machines if you really like softwares kaise kaam karte how does it work then this is a very very good place for you let me tell you the way at things work is done bank reconciliation system is something which we have been doing from day one in our article ship days what do you do you get the statement you pull out that information and after that statement and information you finally do what compare now there are bots and there is rpa robotic process automation that all the pdf files will come to you you are not supposed to pull out the data from pdf you run all the files through a particular system or a software all the data will come to you in ready format to state away go and match okay the bank reconciliation is happening or not issued but not paid deposited but not credited that level so what is the technology doing is technology taking away your intelligence no but it is reducing your laborious work okay now what happens because of these things if certain processes are not working well then you end up drafting sops standard operating procedures in bigger companies that is also another job of it and risk advisory team they prepare standard operating procedures what should be done how should be done and based on those standard operating procedures we prepare a risk control matrix rcm if you remember in your studies something called ifc internal financial controls any idea ifc can you tell me the provision related to this ifc is it related under the law or under the sebi agreement tell me is it under the law or the sebi agreement mm-hmm. section 143 and which is the clause and which is the clause which is more important under this clause 49 of sebi also so ifc requirements and clause 49 both things are there okay so now see just a small glimpse of a rcm risk control matrix how many of you have not seen a risk control matrix till now give me a hand raise ha nahi dekha to nahi dekha sir i have not seen it hmm. so put it into your to do list give me a sample risk control matrix rcm make the chat gpt work na give me a sample of risk control matrix and then what do you do the next thing 
risk control matrix of purchase is separate risk control matrix of sales risk control matrix of accounting so you'll get an idea what we are trying to tell you most of the people when they came into this session they thought that i will give you ready made answers and ready made questions to ratify mug up and then go away now i am giving you some homework See, I am basically a teacher at heart. I think most of you would be knowing me. I am mainly into teaching and training. So, if you expect straightforward answers from me, just being a chartered accountant cannot happen because even if what I want to give you, I can't give you. So, it's 8.30 right now. Kitna stamina bacha How much stamina do you all have? Let me know. I can speak on a regular basis. Another 10-15 minutes is fine. 100%. Mm-hmm. 100%. So then we can have more meetings huh? in days to come. Huh, because if you start with 80 people in the class and 75 are still there in the class, that means you are talking some sense. And I always say the bare facts, you know. Thoda sa main aapko khush nahi kar paata hu. Hi, dosto, kaise ho, kaise ho, badiya ho, main hu, hum ye kar lenge, hum wo kar lenge, main wo sab nahi kar paata hu. I straight away get on to the point. <laughs> Mr. PG, we need to have more sessions. See, I can't put up everything into a single session. Let's have more sessions. Now I have one more session planned with you. They are all the interview question. Interview questions are there. How to draft your CV. Let's have one few more sessions. Thankfully, I was under under an impression that the result will be on 5, 5th or 6th. But now we have got a week's time. Let's do one more or few more sessions. Now. And the best part is, these sessions are free, you know. You don't need to shell out thousands of rupees to understand all this. <laughs> so your job is only one thing, one thing then. You need to bring more candidates together for the session. And go and tell them, boy, this guy is making some sense. So you need to attend these sessions. Simple. I think Karthik has been regular to all the sessions now, huh? Karthik have attended almost all the sessions which are going on, huh? All the four sessions of EY and this one, yes. Correct. Prahlad is there. Sanchita also, Shubham also. I think these are main few people who are continuously attending. Good. Happy to see. Okay. Let's go further for 10-15 minutes more. Now, this is related to SOP and uh, risk and control matrix we did. Okay, and then let's go further. Where did everything go? Ah, risk advisory. Okay, now let's go to FDD. Financial due diligence. Now, the moment I go and say financial due diligence, what does it mean, sir? First of all, there are four names which are similar. Number one, transaction advisory. Financial due diligence, strategic advisory and transformation and deal advisory. All the big fours name it in different way, but these are the four synonymous names. Naam se pakdo. Try to understand the name. What is it saying? Transaction advisory. Okay. I want your advice on a particular transaction. So if one company says and comes that boss, I want to acquire this company. I'm just carrying the conversation further, which we had some time back for Blinkit and Zomato. So the bigger team is deal advisory team. So they will try to understand all the aspects which are related to it. Like when White Hat Junior was acquired by Baijus. So they would have done some of the thinking now that yes, on what grounds we are acquiring by uh, White Hat Junior. So based on that, they would have paid a purchase consideration. Based on that, accounting and recording would be done. 
इसके अंदर लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग दिस इज अ वेरी हाई प्रेशर थिंग यू हैव टू बी ऑन योर टोज द डिलीवरेबल्स आर हाई एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज यू नीड टू डेवलप दैट लेवल ऑफ इंटेग्रिटी टू मेंटेन दैट कॉन्फिडेंशियलिटी वेन यू आर वर्किंग ऑन अ डील your integrity is at the topmost level you can't say it in the market you can't say it in the public while speaking with your friends also that i am doing this i am doing that that you have to maintain because otherwise things get fall apart so transaction advisory sir what kind of candidates are being looked at here sir the candidates who have usually a listed client exposure are the first ones preferred here let me be very honest they have come out to me and spoken to me multiple times we need candidates who have got listed client exposure sir aisa kyun because the kind of timelines and the pressure which they have to give a report they can't train the people there they need people who can think faster and smarter so those kind of people are there number 2 sir what's the amount of job uh, remuneration it is ahead of the regular stat audit and ia jobs let me tell you so transaction advisory fdd sat deal advisory pay far better than more than others but yes then the work also comes up at faster speed so if you are ready to slog and if you have that exposure great otherwise if you want to get into these fields go and develop your experience for one one and a half year in statutory audit department of one of the big four and then get into the advisory or fdd department of another big four after one and a half to two years this few of the people have done and they have been successful but there are few also which have not been successful also to get into the fdd so mera gala mat pakadna aake you said so it didn't happen please ha huh? don't get me on to that situation i just gave an example i created of zomato and uber eats which you know so zomato pays a purchase consideration but the team of zomato will go and check the financials and do a due diligence and then decide whether uber eats is worth buying or not but uber eats was worth buying and just before covid everybody was laughing on zomato but zomato made it big out of uber eats now only zomato and swiggy are two players in the market so there are a lot of deals kind of these things happen that is what fdd and transaction advisory does next come is fraud and forensics this is also one department fraud forensics fnf so when you talk about fraud and forensics here the mindset is different aapko maan ke chalna padta hai ki because this is against the fundamental basis of auditing when auditing we say na we are watch dogs we are not blood hound but in fraud and forensics you need to develop that capability that yes something is going wrong we need to check that so fraud forensic requires a lot of analytical thinking a lot of skeptical thinking from your side sir is fraud forensics a great place to work on answer is yes why and when when you are excited to work on a new assignment regularly when you are excited to learn the business of another company and go and check that business and find out what is going wrong so your learning curve has to be very fast and when you go to the next client you have to forget the way things were done in the other company so fraud and forensics will take you that level and there are many people and there are few of my students itself who are in working very nicely into fraud forensics we had a fraud forensics session also if you remember so the session mein you got to know that yes there can't be ha huh, there they won't ask you company law they won't ask you indas they don't ask you income tax act but what will they ask you how will you approach things what are the basic fundamentals how the business works how will you audit a purchase or a sale or a transaction in a construction company or in a software company or in a gaming parlor when you have got multiple transactions coming in how will you verify that all the transactions are correct or not aap khud socho na you just think from your own a 20 rupee pani puri or a samosa or a idli or a vada or also you are buying through with the upi payment now imagine when everything goes down and gets calculated into a company you need to be skilled to understand and check those transactions na how the money is flowing so fraud and forensics another new one thing which is coming up is esg reporting esg reporting stands for environment sustainability and governance esg now this is a new area which everybody is trying to work out dekho at the end of the day what will happen is anything which you bring into the business finally comes out in the form of a report correct so finally comes out in the form of a report now when you say form of a report so you have to understand the overall concept and then put it across correct
सो वॉट विल हैपन इज ई एस जी रिपोर्टिंग सेज दिस वर्ड एनवायरमेंट सस्टेनेबिलिटी गवर्नेंस नाउ दिस इज कम फ्रॉम द वर्ड कॉल ट्रिपल बॉटम लाइन नाउ वट एवरीवेयर द मल्टीनेशनल कंपनीज आर ट्राइंग टू शो दैट वी आर एनवायरमेंटली गुड Our practice are sustainable and our governance mechanism is error free. अर्थात, we keep people happy, we make profits, we keep the planet also clean and happy. So ESG reporting ultimately will come down into a template that whatever your activities of production are doing done, they are uh, triple bottom line correct. Whatever activities you are doing in your production process, in your activities you are not using any unfair practices. So your profit is clean. people are not being harassed they are giving proper working conditions to people and then you are not damaging the environment also so people profit planet now for example if you would have been reading the news hindustan unilever decided that palm oil content will be reduced in their soaps so the moment they say that palm oil they were the biggest users of palm oil at one point of time and importers in india so the palm oil prices got disturbed so this is what we need to understand what impact it is having on the market correct so esg reporting right now is optional but let me tell you all the bigger companies have started reporting it so you need to understand and read about esg reporting then you become better if the company says okay you know what about sanket is adding here nine principles are there for esg reporting so i am not aware of those nine principles sanket to be very honest so if you can pull out and others can take a note of it on the notepad that yes sir this is what we need nevedita you want to start career in esg then you need to be basically aware of things of esg and the basics of your chartered accountancy see there is no template available there is nothing new matlab there are no market studies or the books or textbooks available on this manoj is saying it's an audit syllabus but that would be small अमेंडमेंट आया था तो थोड़ा सा है तो आप उसको पढ़ो ना प्रहलाद एनवायरमेंट सस्टेनेबिलिटी एंड गवर्नमेंट ईएसजी इज करेक्ट वो एवरीबॉडी पुल्स आउट अ डिफरेंट वे बट ईएसजी मेनली इज दिस शिवानी स्कोप इन ईएसजी इज फॉर लार्जर कंपनीज एंड स्लोली एंड ग्रेजुअली लेट मी टेल यू इट विल कम डाउन टू स्मॉलर कंपनीज ऑल्सो अभी वो ऑप्शनल है अल्टीमेटली विल बिकम ऑप्शनल की जगह कंपल्सरी टू बी रिपोर्टेड सो इट विल अल्टीमेटली बिकम अ रिपोर्ट विच इज गोइंग टू बी एडेड द वे corporate social responsibility ifc report other three reports get added into the main audit report this will also become a compulsory part of that okay so these are the csr reports you can read through for esg infosys tata motors itc and hul okay hello so did i cover most of them yes sir i covered so we have been able to do some work in terms of almost an an hour and 12 minutes to make you understand what different lines of services are i have my presentation ready for cv also but i think i don't have the energy and you don't have the bandwidth also to go for cv related issues also so we can take one more session that how to draft cvs how to face interview questions and then take it up forward my simple request to all of you is i really don't want to charge money and i never charge money for all this but yes you need to bring people in large numbers for this so just go and tell them what he is making some sense and i'll try to do what i'll pull up uh, this particular video and then put it on the youtube so then you can take it up further mr lucky sai we can do about industry also but abhi time nahi hai next we can take about industry also okay nivedita has a question to me what motivates you to take a great session free of costs okay it was a session great is yours while others are charging thousands for the same hey theek hai yaar profession ke liye kuch to karna chahiye bachcho ko pata hi nahi hota kids don't know only what is going on in the world they are only sophisticatedly getting into a one particular zone mein i am passing or not i am passing or not and stop watching all that uh, sad uh, reels about chartered accountancy profession that we are boring so don't do that let's do it i have been doing it for 14 years 14 saal this one 30 40 sessions i would have done couple of them are on my youtube but i don't do a lot of like digital marketing you know which i have to learn now hmm so i'll try to 
for otherwise you will be my biggest market yes i'll put up this link i'll upload this and then share it with all of you then you can share it with your masses that if they want to really understand something better wala okay so it's 8:45 let's time it's time for sign off we have some few days i'll try to plan one more session on monday or a sunday and i'll put you informed on this okay and if you really want to write those reviews na so put it in the whatsapp as well as then when the session is there na then you put that comments because i have been told that if you get those comments and reviews so it picks up so it's up to you okay so thank you very much i hope it made some sense to all of you because i tried to give you those things which are not there in anywhere in the market okay theek hai chalo great so i'll share the link of the group joining for all of you uh, a new group may come up because the group is going to go full and we'll give you this particular links which you can share with your friends okay thank you very much god bless you bye Okay, Savarish Murugesan, how to contact me? Okay, should I put that particular uh, WhatsApp group list here? I can give that. Here is the joining link, my friend. You can join. Here it is. I just forgot also to give the name. I got for. Here it is. here it is wait 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 i'll give it to everyone sabrish are you able to see it now join those groups as simple as that and there's one telegram group also i don't know how to give that i'll just pull that also is the telegram group also just a minute i just pasted that message so telegram link is also there okay can share it with your friends also chalo bachcho thank you very much kartik subham sanchita and sidar you kept your cameras open to make yourself more attentive great i really appreciate that see you bachcho see you again in some time thank you god bless all of you recording stopped